Jed bought this as a treat for the regulars. And himself, I'm guessing. Ta-da! It, it, it's a tree. For me? <laughs> I've never been given a tree before. <laughs> My mom used to get insomnia when I was a kid. She'd drive over here to the lantern three in the morning to work in the garden. <laughs> Sometimes she'd take me with her. It's always been a special place for me. I hope it can be for you too. I should have been taking better care of it. Come on, you've had other stuff to worry about. Totally killing that set. <laughs> You're such a rock star. Thanks for everything. I had fun. And so did the audience. You know they're gonna make you do it again next year, right? You, you good? Yeah, fine. Guess I've just been too wrapped up to think about what the future looks like. <laughs> okay. So let's think about it. Alex's future in Haven Springs. The major motion picture. The ride. On ice. <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes. It's morning, chilly, you can see your breath. You're walking down Main Street on the way to work. Where? The lantern. Okay, kind of a safe choice, but I get it. So after work, sun's still up for another couple hours. It's warm now. You're carrying your jacket under your arm. What's the plan? Sit right here on the roof and play my guitar. Smart. Stay in practice. Only a few more months till the next spring fest. Anyway, someone's at the door. Who? Only the coolest person in Haven Springs. He walks up to you in an extremely cool way. <laughs> His plaid jacket swaying in the breeze. <sighs> Dork. <laughs> yeah. I'm not trying to get you to plan out your whole life, but if you decide you wanted to put down roots, Haven Springs will always make space for you. Was that a gardening pun? No. Maybe. <laughs> I... I really care about you, Alex. Amazing person I've ever met. Come on, 
dummy. Kiss her. Kiss her. I really want to kiss you right now. I know. join the festivities, I'll get you a phone cake. Maybe you could save me one. Yeah, of course. I'll see you down there. Hey, Gabe, can I tell you something? I think I solved it. Why you died, who's responsible. Isn't that crazy? I'm out of threads to pull, which is terrifying. Because on the other side of all this, after Typhon, after you, there's just normal life. kind of counting on you to show me how to do that. But I think I can figure it out. I just wish you were here to see it. Oh, um, also, I kissed Ryan, so that happened. <laughs> Alex, do you have the USB drive? I do. It's all here. Gabe's call, their secret plan, the cover-up. You need to come with me to the station. 
Alex. Don't make this hard. Probably isn't how you pictured your first spring festival, huh? Not exactly. Coffee? Coffee would be great. Thanks. I don't know why I offered we're actually out. Pike, why am I here? The long and short of it is, Diane is charging you with stealing her USB drive. That's bullshit. I haven't done anything wrong. They're the criminals here. Did you steal this USB drive or not? At least tell me you looked at it. I can't. Sorry. You're conducting an investigation into Typhon, right? Everything you've been looking for is on that drive. Despite my best efforts, the case is closed. The order came down today. I did what I could, but, you know, the evidence just wasn't there. Sorry, Alex. I have the evidence. Right here. It doesn't matter. Look, what happened to my brother wasn't an accident. It was criminal. The files on that drive prove it. That could be true. But let's say it is. The issue is you stole Typhon's property. I can't work with that. I just handed you a smoking gun. It shouldn't matter how I got it. Maybe not, but it does. Alex, you're not thinking about this clearly. Seems pretty clear to me. Diane wants to charge you with computer fraud. That's a federal crime, Alex. Five to 10, easy. You're telling me I might go to prison for this? For five to 10 years? It's not that bad. Hey, I talked to her and despite how angry she is at everything you did, she's willing to let it go. <laughs> If you agree to drop everything, Typhon won't press any charges. She's only offering that deal because she knows I have her. She's guilty, Pike. Even if you're right, your only evidence is inadmissible. I think you should do it. Fuck that. I'm not signing anything. Alex. No. Typhon buried something in the mountains. 
Something so massive, they ignored Gabe's call and set off the blast just to cover it up. Don't you want to know what it is? What do you mean, cover it up? Another blast, unannounced, set off at the exact same time at the old mining site. And all of it happened just a few weeks before inspections were set to begin. Come on, Pike. It's all right here. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Alex, please, just sign the form, and we can both go back to the party. No. Alex, this is not an offer that you can choose. I said no. No is not an option. What are you so scared of? See for yourself. Shit. What could be in that envelope? Pike's really shaken. Fuck me. Is this a threat? What did you expect? Huh? The Typhon, a global organization with billions in revenue, an army of lawyers, and who knows how many politicians in their pockets would just what, throw up their hands and say, you got us. I thought I could get justice for Gabe. Yeah. Well, Typhon has their own idea of justice. Shit. Believe me, I want nothing more than to make these fuckers pay. I've learned the hard way that it's not possible. They're too big, too connected, too ruthless. You can hate me if you want. Call me a coward. But I don't want to lose you like we lost Gabe. Pike is terrified of Typhon. I bet if I took his fear away. But it's not just about me. Steph and Ryan are in danger too. Fuck. I want to hurt Typhon so bad. But can I really put their lives at risk along with mine? You want to risk your life over this? Gay Mac, Alex, who's next? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Just keep your head down, Tony. You're just a shit heel. Typhon's major league. Typhon doesn't lose. Typhon disappears, people. Let them get killed, not you. I know you're afraid. I am too. I know you think that Typhon is too big, too invincible, but they're not. I will bring them down. 
I just need your help. If not for me, then for Gabe. Please. Fuck. I'll think about it. Thank you. Get the hell out of here. Really? Alex, be careful. Those pictures. How long have they been watching us? And what will they do if... I have no idea what to do next. Maybe talking to Jed will help me feel better. First, I need to get out of this dress. Okay. Let's go ahead, have some fun. <laughs> 